Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of TNT Show and today on this episode we shall be talking about dealing with loss but we would like to encourage you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed, share and leave us a comment below. So Tracy, um, today's episode is kind of sad, quite sad, and uh, I think we, we both uh, dealt with the uh, loss and the, the loss of people who are really close to us, who are really dear to us. And in this episode, by the way, I just want us to encourage those people who have uh, lost their loved ones and uh, maybe talk to them, tell them something that will encourage them because these times... They're not easy times. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> so tell me, how did you deal with the loss of your grandfather? Um, yeah, well, the, you know, everyone's story is different. Mm -hmm. And for for me, it was basically, you know, sometimes you go through, you know, the funerals you mm -hmm. hear, you know, mm -hmm. your aunt has passed, your uncle has passed. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have a relationship with them, you yeah. don't feel as much mm -hmm. compared with the person that you have a relationship with. Mm -hmm. So for me, for my grandfather, mm -hmm. I had a relationship. And um, he had a relationship with him because mm -hmm. he was a man who knew us. He's mm -hmm. a man who, you know decided to develop a relationship with everyone uh, mm. who wanted to de develop a relationship with him. Mm. With him. And, um, you know, we are a big family. Mm. We are a big family of so many people. Mm. And he had so many children, mm. uh, around 16 of them. What? But all of them, he mm. knew them. You know, funny, he knew them, even not even by name. He mm. knew their character. Mm. He knew this, my son can do mm. ABCD, but my son cannot do ABCD. Mm. My daughter can do ABCD, my daughter cannot do. You know, mm. he knew them. At the same time, he also developed a relationship with us. Mm. He used to call us Mijuku because mm. uh, he used to be funny with us. Mm. And every time we met with him, he mm. like us ladies, you know, mm. his grandchildren ladies, he'll say, mm. ah, you know, I'm your first husband. Mm. Eh? I'm your first husband. So, ukifikiria kuna mtu hapa unataka kuleta, amwambie kuna bwana wa kwanza already. So he used to joke with us and mm. he used to create that relationship where it was fun mm. and you could feel like this, this person really loved you. This mm. person really cared about you. Mm. And never used to judge us. You know some family members or some families whereby they will judge you by class. Mm. You know, oh, this person has, has this person doesn't. Doesn't. So my grandfather never used to judge us mm. for that. You know, mm. for as in for us specifically for mm. us grandchildren, we didn't mm. feel that. You know, mm. and it was so painful mm. when um, you know uh, when he was going through what he was going through. He was sick mm. um, last year, 2022. He was mm. sick. It was a very tough year mm. for us as a family. And um, burying him in December, that was just, you know, one of those months whereby, mm. you know, this month is basically where you guys meet. Yeah. It's basically where you guys meet it's as celebration, a family, celebrate, you know, and for us, time. we used to yeah. go to, you know, the village, yeah. Ocha, and where we sing mm. So we used to go there because our grandfather is mm. there. You're excited to go mm. because you know you're going to see your grandfather. Mm -hmm. He'll make you laugh. Mm. He'll make you, you know, enjoy the moment that you're there. He will mm. talk to you. So it is, it's still fresh mm. um, coming this month, January, mm. and, you know, going forth and and seeing how we're going to live our lives without him, in, mm. you know, and him calling you, mm. and, eh, it, is, mm. it is something that we are still recovering, mm. I'm still recovering, mm. and <coughs> we thank God, mm. we really, really thank God, I really, really thank God that he was able to see you know, 82 years of his life, he was able to see his great-grandchildren. Mm -hmm. You know, he was able to see his third generation. Wow. And and something of that sort, it's, 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 it's very rare. rare. It's, it's very, very rare. rare. Yeah. And for him to, you know, have that time mm -hmm. to even know us, have mm -hmm. that time to mm -hmm. develop us, it's, it's something that when you look back, you don't regret. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't regret. Though he was... Uh, he didn't wish we didn't wish for him to go yeah. because we thought that he has recovered he's okay you know mm. it was just taking some time but when it happened we still thank god we still choose to see jehovah mm. in everything mm. and um 
one thing that I would say is when it's time for you to cry, cry. Just cry. Because I cried when we were literally burying, like literally putting his, you know, case down. Mm. That is the time I broke down. You know those days where you're like, it's okay. You know, it's still okay. Yeah, you, okay, he's there. You can you can see his you can see, see his body, body even he, see even him. when he's there, but, yeah. but he's still there. So still, really you're like, you know, okay, his presence is still with us. Yeah. But now when when he's he getting better, the then we realize minutes. okay, he's gone. But Tracy, I, I want I want you to, you know, just, you know, let us know. Like what was what went through your mind? Like how did you feel when you, you received that call that your grandfather is going normal? Um so many things went through my mind. Mm. I broke down that time, mm. and I was in the house. I was in the house where you know we got our WhatsApp message from my mother. That, mm. You know, dad has rested, mm. and we were like, "Wow!" Mm. For me, it was a shock, and I was, I was, you know. But funny thing is, mm. this it's because at that time when my mom was going through, um, the hospital at that time it was like, you know, mm. it's like, I don't know, maybe it's God, it's mm. me. I was thinking like, ah. Maybe it's just time for him to rest. Mm. You know, those things that you get in your mind, mm. you hear in your mind, and mm. you're like, ah, it's not God, that yeah. cannot be God. Mm. And um, when I got the news, it mm. was a shock. It was really a shock to me, mm. and I cried. I, I literally went to the bathroom, because in the house, uh, that time, and my sister was around and all, and mm. my son was also around, but I said, that I don't want them to see my tears. Mm. And then for them asking questions, why are you crying and all that. Mm. So I went like, right, in the bathroom. That was the moment I was like, wow. Mm. He's truly, he's gone. You know, there's no going to see him again. Mm. There's no going to the hospital mm. again. There's no going to Ocha and saying that, you know, we're going to see our mm. granddad. Mm. You know, those were the things that were going through my mind. And mm. then the thing that was going through my mind was him telling me, you know, him joking with me. He's like, Tracy, you know, you know, you know. You know, when are you yeah. getting married? Yeah. So, yeah. You know, yeah. those are the things that are going through. When, like, you can't go at any moment. But that is true. Like, when you... Okay, I think... Well, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, it was like, where? Yeah. And it was hard. It it was really, really hard. Mm -hmm. And I was picturing how I'm going to tell my sister. Because mm -hmm. my bro is, you know, my bro is older. So, mm -hmm. him getting the news, it was not Obviously, yeah. On, on and top. when different, he was not there. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're just there with my sister and I'm thinking how I'm going to tell mm. my sister yeah. that, you know, mm. her grandfather is gone. Is gone. Yeah. yeah. So was, that day was very, very, very tough. Third December. Mm -hmm. Very, very tough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. I thank God for, for his life. I do. We celebrate him. Mm -hmm. Choose to celebrate him. Yeah. Okay. That was the first time I cried. Mm. And the last time I cried when we actually buried him, um, December still, we buried him and I was like, you know, December 16th, I, yeah, 16th, we buried him on a Friday and you know, like, he is gone, like, he's literally yeah, gone. It was painful, man. He, it was really painful. Where I broke down, like, we broke down. Most of us, we broke down that day. Because you are strong, you know, we, we travel. We're mm -hmm. like, oh, you're here. And in, you know, just like, mm -hmm. you are excited to see your cousin, you're excited to see your friends, you're excited to see other people that mm -hmm. are there. But when it's, it's real that mm -hmm. he's it's being truly buried six feet under, <sighs> yeah. it's heavy. It was heavy. It was heavy. But yeah, no, I know I think I am strong enough to talk about it. So, yeah. I've said I'm not going to cry in this episode, so I'm trying my level best not to cry. Yeah. But yeah, that's how, for me, I, I always say when it is time for you to mourn, when it's time for you to cry, when it's time for you to scream, just do it. Yeah. Don't hold back. Don't be strong for others. Mm. Don't pretend that, you know, you're not feeling the pain. Mourn. Mourn that, mourn that time, mourn that person. However, however, you know, however long it will take you, but moon, go through that process of grieving because it will hit you and sometimes it will hit you and it will hit you maybe many years later and people will not understand why you're still in that process, you know. So, yeah, that's, yes, for me, still fresh, still fresh. So, 
we are mourning but we also choose to celebrate his life yep okay and that's why i'm wearing this t-shirts still remembering your grandfather. still remembering my grandfather yeah okay so, so uh, dealing with the loss um i think i also yeah, how was your story tell us your story okay for me um hey <laughs> i don't even know where to start but um okay um my dad actually he wasn't really sick ile eti eti mtu anakuwa mgonjwa and um and you you are prepared for his demise no my dad wasn't sick ile kwa tun headache i remember before he passed on um he had called me was it on a i think on a, it was on a either on a monday he had called me and uh, he and <sighs> wow wow i okay he called and uh, you know he told me he wasn't feeling well and so and for me you know my dad i think he he was uh, he was he was uh, we were very we were very close and um when he called akasema ni headache and i was just like okay fine he's going to be okay and it was on it was on a monday you school i think i remember he was at work and uh and come be okay let me send you a thousand bob because headache you know you just need to go and buy medicine and all let me send you a thousand bob and uh you go to the hospital i love you you'll be fine you get it. So when he talked to me it was he it was he just sounded okay like I didn't feel like there was something really serious okay personally I didn't think there's something serious because he yeah, sounded okay happened, he was just like okay I'm fine it's just a day it's going to be okay yeah. what I called on Tuesday again to to find out like how he's feeling his phone was off man I called my mom. Her phone was off. Hey, 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 God. So, um on uh, was it on Wednesday? On Wednesday, I called my mom and I think I, like you Wednesday, Wednesday mchana the phones were off and then usiku my mom calls me and anambia your dad uh has been admitted. Okay, there is a uh, we have I think you I think it's a referral or something and he can't talk. How? This person it was a headache on Monday. Like what are you telling me? He can't talk and that's now on Wednesday. Nan mongeno msi on 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 Monday. Like mom, are you okay? What are you saying? He can't talk. Na say so I think it was around 8ish 9 9. Your mom like it can be aki and then i think it was nearly on mom i think your secret was on okay your wednesday around 7ish nikamwambia aki akiamuka like when he you know he revives like when he gets back when he can talk give him the phone i want to talk to him and then mom was like yeah i will i called again at 10 mom he has not woken up yet and then mom like i'll call you like what's going on i'll call you hey t i i can't i can't even explain like i just start having a feeling i started having a feeling like there's something wrong mom was wrong I'll, i'll tell you what the hell my heart t uh, it like i think yeah. it is on like it is 2020 that's when i real like when the reality of death hit me like i've never like experienced death in that way okay most of the death that have happened in my family like mostly they were like long distance relationships so yeah. sometimes you are there sometimes you're not there yeah. and you really crying wasn't really my thing yeah. so mama can you be I'll, i'll tell you i'll call you what and i just started feeling like man there's something and i call i called my bro like Have you talked to mom? He's like, no, he, she said she talked to me. And I'm like, what's going on? So she was trying not to tell yeah, us. Yeah. And then my cousin calls. She's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry what has happened. God, what are you telling me? You're sorry yeah. why? 
It's my cousin that told me that my dad has passed on. My dad did not get sick, Tracy. It was on, on Monday, he was sick on Tuesday, and then he passes on on Wednesday. Right. Headache, Tracy. I remember, Tracy, I remember screaming. I, I, I can't, like, I, I, I just remember my mind going blank. First of all, before even before even my mom told me that my dad is like that with the same Wednesday when when she told me that yeah, okay she yeah speak. she can't speak I tried kneeling down to pray Tracy mm. I realized that there are times you can't pray yeah you remember Bishop Kolo says there are times you want to pray but you only I realized it. that I realized that praying pray when you can pray Tracy there are times you cannot pray mm. I knelt down to try to pray but I couldn't even kneel down my, my whole body was shaking like I've never felt like that before. I was just, I was trying to tell God, please, please, just spare his life. Yeah. So, uh, see, later on, I called my mom again. Mom, I'm told dad is no more. Man, that thing hit me. That thing, that thing hit me. I've, I've never felt that way. It hit me. And then at that moment, you see, the funny thing, my, my, my mom's sister, uh, had just passed on so we actually had like, like two deaths in the family wow. okay so it was my my mom's sister and your dad and my dad so uh yeah i after that of course there is the screaming but i just didn't believe it I, like even as much as i was crying i was like no maybe 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 i'm dreaming maybe this is not true maybe like i was just like okay maybe, maybe it's not true maybe yeah. maybe you know it cannot be true how like no way like i i was in denial for a very 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 long time and then we of course we had to travel home we he when i saw him you know for me right. I, th I think now w w what broke me mostly when when i saw him like when he was being brought from the morgue and i, I saw him in the coffin that thing i think didn't like i think the 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 the, the strength that just left me you know yeah it was bad so of course he was there when he was being buried too but for me, I think your, your time, yeah, the time I was home, um, I simply went blank, Tracy. For, for me, for so many months, I was just, I, I wasn't thinking. Like, my, my mind just stopped. I just stopped functioning. And the good thing, uh, it was the, the corona period, so I was at home. So really, it wasn't so bad. And I was by myself. Then I, could, I didn't even have friends who traveled, so it was just me and my mom. I'm the firstborn Tracy, so I had to be strong for the whole family because my mom, she was there when my dad died. So yeah, she took her, you know, yeah. and my siblings are there. So I, I, I was the one who was supposed to be strong for the entire family. So even the morning part, I don't think I even did. I just stopped. And for me, I think the thing, I, I blamed my dad. Like for, I was like, why did you, why did you leave us? Yeah. How can you leave us? Like, wh how, how, why did you die? You know, for me, I blamed him for a very long, for almost a year was just like, he wanted to leave us. Mm. He just didn't like, like he just didn't like us. He wanted to leave. That's why he left, you know. So I, I have episodes when I miss him, you know, and, uh, you know, the tears come, I, I still cry. I, I, it's, 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 it's hard. I don't even know. It's, it's been hard without him, by the We are trying, we are trying to move on without him, but it's, it's really, it's really difficult. You know, my dad was covering. So many things. Okay, my mom is quiet. I think I'm just the opposite of my mom. <laughs> yeah, I think people say I speak so much, but my mom is quiet, kinda. You know, yeah. my mom will not like so many things. My mom will ask me, but dad will be like, "Okay, who are you dating? Mm -hmm. Like, how are, like, what are you doing? Like, what's going on with your life?" Nini, nini. He will check on me. We had issues sometimes. Nearly a parent daughter stuff. Like when I like when she wants things and I can't do them, yeah. and we are having problems. Nini, nini. But ataka kidogo chana ni pigie. Like. He was my father, like, he loved us, he did. Me, growing up, Tracy, me, I thought, like, it was a duty of a man to do everything in the house. <laughs> I'm telling you, that guy, like, he did everything. everything. 
every, like I can I can barely count a dress that my mom bought me when like out from class three going forward. Like he did everything. You know, he did like everything from food to school fees to everything. I thought it was a man's job to do those things. Yeah. It's until like maybe I came to Naya I realized, okay, people are supposed to do like fifty <laughs> fifty thing. I didn't know that happens, you know. Yeah, he was a very hard working you know, man. Uh, yeah. yeah he used to be your brother family yeah. where the man is a sole provider. Yeah, he was the sole provider and he took care of his family so well, perfectly well. He had businesses he was doing like he was a hard working human being. You understand? So yeah, I miss him. By the way, I miss my dad so much. You're covering, you nini nini, you too love, yani, yeah. you nini. I didn't know really we could we could really make it without him. But nashukuru mungu, we, he, me at a, well, me sometimes I knew some of my firstborn. I don't know what I'm going to do to my firstborn baby, but I think when I have a baby in the future, I'll try to prepare him for, you know, for, Ascertain it is, yeah. you know, because kukuwa first born sometimes when when your mom is not away or when the when the provider is not there, then you have to just step in automatically. It's not That's even true. yeah, it's not even like negotiable or anything oh. like that. You just have to. For me now, I had to just I just had to recover quick and make sure that what was running like if it was maybe this would be farming nin, 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 whatever was going on the bees that needed to be taken care of i needed to like just step up fast and make sure that those things are going on mm-hmm. my siblings were going to school they needed to continue going to school yeah. they needed someone to encourage them you understand so there was no time for me actually i, I sometimes i feel like really i didn't mourn my dad that much i didn't even mourn you know but i think well, one thing that I'll take to, from what you've said that it is important to let go yeah. of the pain. Yeah. Don't you ever, don't you ever Ooh. bottle or hold the pain inside of you. And actually, there's no formula for mourning. There's no formula. We, we can't sit here and start saying, there's okay, no now dealing with the laws, number one, number two, number three. No, people mourn differently. But the most important thing is just let the pain out. Yeah. Whether you're going to scream, whether you're going to talk to someone, whether, wh- you're, whether going you're going to, to do, whether you're going to just cry, whether you're going to just spend some time. Sometimes you will be hit and you have to stay down, okay? But stay down and heal. After healing, then come up, okay? Mm-hmm. But make sure that that pain is out. Never, ever put that say you know pretend to be strong oh i got this yeah. no you can never be strong you know because it gets to a point where that whereby that that pain has to come out sure. but then it might come out at a wrong time so yeah. very important you take your time find a way that is comfortable with you but make sure that you mourn yeah Tracy. yeah yeah you know it was also mm. the point of when it hits you it really hits you and when you have to step up you have to step up yeah. you, you see and um like what you said, you know, I, I picture that my mom always says, you know, they have these stories whereby their dad used to take care of all of them, you know, mm. they are 16 plus, mm. plus, you mm. know, they are cousins. Mm. And you wonder, like, how did this man, you Do know, that. pay school fees, yeah, make sure we had people. food, make sure we, you know, mm. we had roof over our, ta- uh, over our heads. Mm. And when you look at that and you, you marvel at how, you know, how some, strong these people, people are, people are how strong these people yeah. are and how they each, you know, for your dad and, and so for selfless. my grandfather, they, you know, they did this and they also did, they also took time to develop a relationship. Imagine, very selfless. Yeah, very even that relation, no, having a relationship mm. with you. Yeah. You know, sometimes, you know, we look mm. at men and then men are just there. Mm. They bring food and food. Or parents, well, they will mm. not even want to know mm. your school. They will yeah. not even want to know how your life is. They will not want to yeah. know how you're going. Yeah, no. it's true. But, yeah. That that moment whereby a man takes time to develop a relationship, yeah. that thing is amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's, it's really you know amazing. everything. Yeah, they can attest. And you see, when you have a father who can attest mm-hmm. and say, ah, "I know my son cannot do this. Oh, my daughter cannot do this." Mm-hmm. You know, you take that for granted. And yeah. when you realize, well, it is not there anymore. Yeah. It is. There's no one who'll keep on checking out for you Me. like that. Yeah. There's no person who'll keep on asking you how are you, you know, how you feeling, mm. how is your life, what are you going through? Then it becomes painful. <laughs> it becomes it becomes real. Again, again it becomes again. real real again. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there's no formula of grieving. But take time. <sighs> take time Just to let the pain out. Take time to yeah. let the pain. Take time to yeah. scream. Take yeah. time to cry. Take time to ask God's question. Like, you know, why did this happen? Why did this happen? And take time. Don't mm. blame God. I always say don't blame God. Thank but him, ask but questions. Ask, ask questions. Yeah. He's still your father. He's still God. And he's faithful. And he knows why it happened at yeah. the time that it happened. Yeah. As, yeah. 
Yeah, this so, is what I'll say as we. <laughs> so thank you very much. And uh, oh, that, that's the episode on uh, dealing with the loss. We have we have lost uh, our loved ones. Uh, for me, I lost my dad. A man who was so dear to me. I had a relationship with him. He was he was very close to me. And Tracy, in 2022 December, actually just recently, she lost her grandpa, and it's still fresh, man. You people could have seen her. She's still teary. <laughs> but you all, uh, pain is real. Pain is, is with us. And I know that some of you have also lost people who are very close to you. And what, one thing we are saying is that there's no formula for mourning. We can't sit here and pretend to give you a formula for dealing with the pain. You deal with that pain. The most important thing is you let the pain out. Let the pain out, grieve, and don't pretend to be strong. And I know that... Uh, you are an overcomer and one day you can attest that you have overcome the pain. So this is TNT Show and we thank you so much for staying with us uh, on this episode. And if you haven't subscri subscribed, please, we are asking you to subscribe, share our videos and please don't forget to leave us a comment. We love you so much. This is TNT Show. Bye.